UC San Diego is a world-class research and educational institution. We're basically like a small city with 45,000 people on campus, hospitals, research buildings, housing and dining, and all of that has to be supported by a strong energy infrastructure. Energy efficiency is really the number one thing we look at when we're looking at energy alternatives for the campus. Geisel Library is our central library at the University of California, San Diego. It stands several stories high and it's one of the most iconic buildings on campus. We've pursued a lighting retrofit that not only changes the technology of the lights, but also improves the control that we have over the lights. We have installed occupancy sensing and daylight sensing so that we only have light in areas where we need it, when we need it. Although UC San Diego generates about 85% of our electricity annually, we still are a net importer of peak electricity. So one of the strategies we've used to shift on-peak power use is through batteries. Our new battery system is one of the largest of its kind. We can discharge or charge 2.5 megawatts of electricity at any given time, which is equal to the power draw of hundreds of homes. With the help of sdg &E Incentives, we recently installed two thermal energy storage tanks, each of which contains 1.4 million gallons of chilled water. Without these new tanks, we would have to run significant amounts of electric chilling at our central plant in the middle of the day during sdg and &E's on-peak period. We have significant cooling needs on campus because we're a laboratory and medical institution. These thermal energy storage tanks allow us to cool all of those spaces without drawing much electricity. As a research institution, our goals expand beyond just our own UC goal of reaching carbon neutrality by 2025. The campus itself is used as a living laboratory, and that's very much true in the world of energy. We look forward to being a laboratory for finding the solutions to our energy issues of today and to help the world as a whole.